this is a shitty con vlog and it's shitty because I lost some footage. I don't know how, I don't know why, I most likely didn't press the button correctly. It's clear the gist of what the clip was that was supposed to be here was me complaining because it was Sunday and on Sunday the buses only go once an hour and they go later. So I couldn't get the bus to the train station, so I had to walk to the train station, with, which was 30 minutes. Almost there, thankfully. I would have hated to be too late. See, there it is. <laughs> There's the train station. <sighs> I'm already sweating and it's awful. <laughs> So while we're looking at this beautiful view world I shot on my way to Alkmaar, I will tell you what I did today. I went to Moxcon in Alkmaar, as I said, and uh, Moxcon is a game convention. Think about like board games and card games, no video games. And I was invited to have a little spot at a table at someone else who was standing there and I just decided to pack some of my posters and my notebooks and buttons and stand there and it was really uh, impromptu. I was invited two weeks back so uh, yeah I just had the weekend off and I was like oh it's fun and decided to film it for you all to see. Uh, but it was a long trip, it was two hours to it and two hours back home and I was absolutely tired after it. I've been doing conventions since April now and this will be my fourth. I have one more this year and uh, I've been really enjoying just standing with my stuff somewhere, talking to people. Everyone is always really nice at conventions and I'm really glad I now also know some other artists and people that are vendors. Um, and just every con I go to gets more and more fun and I wanted to share that experience and just my day uh, for people that also go to conventions or want to know more about what's it like going to conven uh, conventions. This one I didn't film a lot for it because I was standing with other people but next con is gonna be a two day con which I also want to vlog and I want to vlog more b-roll for it. again from the bus stop to the church that it is it's like that there's no one wonder how busy it will be at Moxcom I guess we'll see I still have to set up so if it's not that busy it's not too bad so. Moxcon was really fun. I uh, was invited to go there to have a spot at someone else's table. So the stakes weren't really that high and I just had a fun time. Especially standing with two other people at a table and having someone next to it. 
that also like knew the group um, so I just was there for a good time I sold a tote bag and a print at the start of the day and on like three buttons throughout the day so that wasn't a lot but it's not my demographic like they were there for games and board games and stuff mm. but yeah I just had a good time and I actually yeah that's actually it I had a good time and no complaints <laughs> So back to previous me uh, telling you a bit more about what you can expect in the future for videos and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Tomo Fair in two weeks and I think I will sell a bit more there. I'm gonna spend there solo for two days. It's my first like big girl con that I'm gonna spend that for two days. So I'm really excited. I'm really curious to see how it goes. I hope I will get my table out of it, but we'll see. And um, yeah, I just thought it would be fun to share my experience at this con and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll definitely shoot more b-roll for Tomo Fair because <laughs> I've like one small clip of my table and that's it. But yeah, I didn't want to, <laughs> I felt awkward vlogging. I like shooting a lot of b-roll when there were other people like I was invited to have a spot at someone's table so you know I see you next time and if you found this interesting make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more con vlogs at least in two weeks you can expect a vlog for Tomo Fair and uh, that's the last one of the year I think but I want to do some more process art stuff as well so yeah that's gonna be fun